calories, 150. 150 calories too. And total fat G, 9G. Grams. Ready? One, two. What's up everybody, Tip House and what I'm there at today. It's National Chip Day. Yep, today's actual National Potato Chip Day. Oh. Yeah, because... So, um, let me ask you this. What do you think is a chip? Name name a couple of chips. Uh, uh, of potato chips. I know one that I can't read. You can't read? Yeah, that. Uh, but what's your, like, name a couple of your favorite potato chips. I will say some of Hmm? One of them of classy. Classy? Classic. Yeah, but like, like Lay's or Ruffles. What other potato chips? Um, I like barbecue potato chips. Mm-hmm. And I'll say. What else? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, um, a lot of people mistake um potato chips with like regular chips, like um Doritos. Those aren't potato chips. Those are tortilla chips. Tortilla? Yeah, they're made from tortillas. Um, like Cheetos aren't potato chips. I don't really know what Cheetos are made of. Um, I think they're made from styrofoam or something. So um, yeah, today since it's National Potato Chip Day, we're gonna talk a little bit of, a little bit about the potato chip, um, and then we're gonna try out these Pringles potato chips, this flavor pizza one, and the cheeseburger one. Yeah, the cheeseburger one. So, um, did you know that Americans consume a hun- 1.2 billion pounds of potato chips a year? In one year? In one year, like Americans in all of the United States consume 1.2 billion pounds. That's a lot. And um, the potato chip was invented by um, a chef, an Irish chef, George Crumb. Um, he invented a potato chip because one of his customers would complain that, um, I guess, he, I don't know if he was eating um, like fried potatoes. Like french fries maybe and he complained that they were too thick and too soggy too greasy so what um chef crumb did he cut the potato the potatoes really thin and he fried them and then that's how we invent how we invented the potato chip it's crazy huh? and he died in um 18... no that's in, in 1853 that's when he invented the potato chip and he also died huh? yeah i think he's dead because that was like <coughs> Like 160 some years ago. And let's see what another fact is. Um, since today we're going to be trying um, the Pringles brand. Um, I looked up a little bit of information on Pringles. Um, Pringles was first sold in 1967 and internationally in 1976. Um, it was owned by Procter & Gamble. Um, that company owns, makes like dish soap, like palm olive and Colgate, like the toothpaste, like a lot of um, hygiene products. That's um, what Procter & Gamble um, makes. And they made the, the Pringles because they wanted to solve the issue about um, broken chips. You know how when you buy like Lay's, there's a lot of like little broken ones in the bottom? Yeah. <clears throat> so that's why they came up with the, the Pringles. And also they're a little bit less greasy than than your regular potato chips. That's why they made it. Um, also, um, in April 2001, um, Procter & Gamble tried selling their company to Diamond Foods. They make like nuts, um, like pe- um, cashews and all that stuff. But um, they didn't sell it to them. They ended up selling it to Kellogg. Kellogg's is the one that makes like most of the cereals. So um, that's why they, they, they bought it just to, to um, um, be 
like a top producer of snacks in the world. So that that put them in the second second largest um, savory snacks company. And last but not least, one fact, and that's all we're gonna eat it. Yep. Let me mix it a little bit there. Um. Uh, recently, there was a little bit of criticism um, in, in regards to Pringles because um, um, about them saying they're a potato chip because only 40% of the chip, 42% of the chip is actually potato. The other thing, the other ingredients are like, like, like other chemicals and stuff that they put in. So not even half of what makes a Pringles um, is a potato chip. So they were, li- they were in the... They were criticized a little bit for calling themselves a potato chip. So, without further ado, okay. which one do you want to try uh-huh. first? Huh? Which one? What do you think we're gonna be first? You think one of them's gonna be nasty? Uh-huh. Alrighty, so we're gonna try out pizza first. Yeah? Hey, and why do you like the juice right here? I brought a juice just in case you need to wash, rinse, of, rinse off your mouth. Alrighty, well, uh, Pringles pizza is the first one we're gonna try. Uh, so, it doesn't smell that bad. They have a little bit of potato sauce. <laughs> Not bad. If you don't, if you don't want to, just have how many drink? No, it's not that bad. I think the what? Remember the the lays we tried a long time ago? What, what was it? It's right. Oh, mac and cheese. Yeah, I didn't like that one. So a lot of didn't like. Uh, Pizza. So now the next one is. Cheeseburger. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it all doesn't seem that excited. Yeah, I don't think this. Um, I think this is gonna be the nasty one. So just take a little bite, okay? Because I don't think it's that good. You liked it? It kind of tastes like a, like a McDonald's burger, huh? Hmm. You want another one? Not really. I do like it, just don't want to save it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't like this one. I think I like the... Um, Pizza. Pizza one, better. So yeah, there you have it. Um, which one would you pick? This one, cheeseburger. I think I would pick the pizza. Um, the cheeseburger has, I don't know, this tangy taste. I don't know what it is. I guess, I don't know. Just I, I didn't like it. The pizza kind of sm- kind of does taste like pizza, so that's why I like it better. But yeah, there we have it. Um, Eduardo picked this one and I picked this one, so it's a 50-50, whichever you want to pick. So, yeah, and today's video is because it's National Potato Chip Day. So a lot today in history, day. Nope, we didn't find enough. Um, Facts. Yeah, so today's also, also um, National Pie Day, so we might get some pie later on. So, alrighty, that's it for this video. Catch Don't you on the next one. Papa. <laughs>